everyone, we're here on the Coinbase Pro app and I'm going to show you how to withdraw your available balance in any cryptocurrency in order to transfer it to a different wallet. For example, if I have $10 available in Ethereum and I want to transfer it to my MetaMask wallet because I want to buy something, an NFT or something else through MetaMask, we'd want to transfer the money out of Coinbase. So Coinbase is only the exchange in order to buy cryptocurrency, but you don't want to hold your cryptocurrency here in Coinbase. Maybe you want to store it in a hardware wallet. Let's go through the steps in order to withdraw it from Coinbase. The very first step is we're going to go to the asset tab, which is the little pie graph down at the bottom. We are going to select withdraw. And today we're going to be withdrawing Ethereum. We're going to send it to a crypto address. We're going to be sending it to a different wallet. So we're removing it from the Coinbase exchange and sending it to our very own wallet. And it's going to show you at the top, we're taking it from Vault Portfolio. And we're going to enter the wallet address that we want to send to here. It's very important that you're only using Ethereum addresses to send between. If you enter a Bitcoin address here, your money will not be received. So make sure that you're only entering an Ethereum address here. It's very important. You don't want to lose your cryptocurrency. It probably will give you an error if you're entering the wrong type of address here. But just to be safe, just make sure that you're always sending to a wallet um, with the correct cryptocurrency address. So in this case, we're withdrawing Ethereum. We want to make sure we're sending it to an Ethereum wallet. As you can see, I have a few different addresses saved in my address book, or you can simply copy and paste in this field wherever you want to send to. So we're going to select an address to send to. It tells us we have a valid ETH address in green. We're going to select the amount, which can be a bit tricky here. So down here, you can see it says I have funds available, which equals about $31.52. We're going to have to do a little bit of math here to take into account the network fee. So we're going to pull up our calculator. I have 0.0091814 available to withdraw. And we're going to select, uh, subtract the network fee of 0 0.001764. And this is the max that we can set, taking into account network and network fees are not going to coinbase this is not a fee that coinbase charges this is the network fee to operate on the ethereum blockchain so um, the people who are processing and mining ethereum need to be incentivized in order to process these transactions so this network fee is actually not going to coinbase it's going to the ethereum network so i have my amount that I can transfer the max available which is going to be 0 0.00735 that's going to take into account the network fee and now as you can see my total is 0 0.009114 so it's actually it's changing as we speak as the price of ethereum moves so you just want to maybe reduce it a little bit to make sure that you're covering enough so we have 0 0.0019014, okay. Now we have enough to withdraw. It's not gonna be more than my funds available, so this should work. I'm gonna click withdraw ETH, and you should always have a two-factor authentication set up, so I'm gonna open my authentication app, enter in the code. All right, your withdrawal has started. So it says that this withdrawal is going to be initiated, and what happens is on the blockchain, there's gonna be at least 35 network confirmations until this withdrawal is actually sent to the wallet that you indicated. If you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this.